Hey everyone, Adam Army here, National Academy of Sports Medicine Master Trainer and Trainer at Anytime Fitness. Today's workout is a recovery style workout. So we're going to be working on full range of motion, proper technique, and a slower pace today, okay? As always, if you guys feel dizzy, sick, lightheaded, any type of pain, please stop, get with your team. In addition to that, I'll be going over a couple different uh, levels of exercises, okay? From beginner up to advanced. So make sure you uh, pick the appropriate level based on your coaching uh, assessment. If you're not sure, start with the uh, beginner uh, movement. In addition to that, we'll be using some weights today, some dumbbells and some TRXs. If you don't have those, there will be an at-home uh, body weight version, um, but also get with your staff, okay? Uh, get with your staff and your team. There might be some links to exclusive uh, at-home equipment. All right, so here's the structure of today's workout. We have two circuits of five exercises, okay? 30 seconds of work followed by 30 seconds of rest. You're going through all five rounds. Once you complete all five rounds, then you will take a one minute break, okay? So two circuits, five exercises. Your first exercise for more of the advance is gonna be a push up. Okay, so right here, feet shoulder width, you're gonna go up and down. Keep that back straight. Imagine there's a glass of water in your back, okay? If you're a beginner, knees down, toes down, up, down, just like that, okay? You can also go elevated if you wanna go from a box or a chair on those push ups. Next exercise is what we call a plank rocker, okay? So you're going to go right here into that plank position, okay, and you can start if your power from the elbows, back flat, and you're going to go forward and back, okay, so you're not going up and down, forward and back, same thing, glass of water on your back, okay, if you want to go from the knees, you can do that, if you're a beginner, you can go from the hands, okay, right there, forward, back, you can also just hold the plank once we get a little fatigue in there, okay. Next one, we have some TRX movements. So we're gonna go TRX for power, some weights if you have those at home as well. If not, I'll show you a body weight version. Okay, so your next exercise is a TRX row. So we're gonna go low row. So the more lean you have, the harder it is, okay? You're gonna lean back, okay? Nice and flat, so if you step in, this is gonna be harder. A little bit easier up top, right here. Wrist to elbows, okay? Wrist to armpits right there. Just like that, we want to avoid any type of dips. Okay, in addition to that, watch your neck, okay? Make sure it's nice and neutral, and we never want these things slacking, okay? So right here, TRX row if you have them, okay? If you have some weights, okay, you can do what's called a bent over row. So right here, I like to go wide, just like this, back is nice and flat, neutral, up, down, up, down, right there, okay? If you want, you can also go outside, as long as that back stays flat. Okay, if you don't have any weight, that's absolutely fine. Go right here, just in that same position, okay, weights, just do the hamstrings in the back, pull through. I'm creating tension in my back, so even though I don't have weight, I can still feel it, okay? Same thing, 30 on, 30 off. Next two, TRX bicep curls, so if you have a TRX, Right here, same premise. Underhand grip, same uh, thing if you're more lean, more challenging. Underhand grip, wrist up to ears, and back down, okay? Wrist up to ears, and back down. So we're not rowing, wrist up to ears, okay? Same thing, don't let it slack. If you don't have a TRX or prefer some dumbbells and you have them, same premise here. I like to stagger step, one foot in front of the other, up and down, right there. Just don't watch the sway, make sure we're not moving. Nice and neutral. Okay, right there, just like that. Make sure when you pick the weights up and set them down, okay, we're using our legs, not our back. If you don't have a uh, weight, just like the other one with the rows, same premise here or here with the feet. Create tension in those biceps. Okay, up and down. So you're creating that tension there. The last one in the first circuit is a TRX tricep extension. You can go here, okay, overhand grip. This is a little bit more advanced, so I'll show you a couple different versions. Okay, so right here, just like this, and what you're gonna do, same, same thing, kind of wrist to, to shoulders, fall forward, so as you're falling forward, right here, and press up, okay? And press up, just like that, okay? If there's any type of shoulder pain, <coughs> pain, don't do these, okay? Next one, 
for beginner or if we don't have a TRX, we're going to do a TRX or a tricep dip. So here, feet in, just like this, hands right here. You can also do this if you have a box, up and down, okay, just like that. It's going to create that tension to be able to do that. That's your first circuit, so five times through, 30 on, 30 off. After that, you're going to take a one minute break, then you're going to go into the next circuit. <clears throat> your next one is just a squat. So for power, right here, chest nice and tall, hip hinge, butt back, up and down, okay? Keep those knees behind those toes. So one of the biggest mistakes is this. So you want to go here, back, and then down, okay? If you have a chair, so for a beginner, if you have a chair or a box, use that. In addition, as well, that TRX. So a TRX squat, I like to use these. Right here, just like this, hip hinge back. Down and up. That will help me keep my knees behind my toes. Okay. Next one we have a lunge. So we're gonna go right here. Chest nice and tall. Step back. So it's a step back. So it's a horizontal movement into a vertical. Your knee does not have to touch the ground. The key to watch here: make sure this foot, this knee, does not come over that toe. So it's gonna be here, just like that. Chest nice and tall. Sometimes we go here. If you're getting back pain, that would be one of the reasons why. Okay, if you want to add some weight to it, you can. For beginner, step back. So we're just going to do a little step back there. Alternating arm. So the leg that's forward is the arm that's up, okay? Or the opposite arm is up. Next, we have a single leg deadlift. Here. Okay, just like this facing. Slight bend in that knee. Opposite arm. Go down. Keep that back engaged, okay? Don't round it. So it's going to be right here. Your, your knee will wobble side to side, okay? Just like that. Okay, so this is the power version. You can keep your toe on the ground, okay? For beginner, one leg is back, okay? The front leg is slightly bent here. Back is engaged. You're gonna do what's called a hip hinge. You're just sticking the glutes, the butt back, okay? You'll feel that in the front leg, okay? So because we're going 30 seconds and 30 seconds, go 15-ish uh, seconds or about three reps each side, okay, depending on how you're uh, keeping track of your time, okay, just make sure you get even number between each side. Next one is a marching, a bridge, okay, so this is great for the posterior chain, the glutes and the hamstrings, okay, so here, okay, so for power, you're going to go one leg up, okay, so up and hands to the side, down, up, okay, just like that. For a beginner, Heels close to the glutes, up, engage the glutes and hamstrings, and back down. Okay? Just like that. Your last one of this exercise, or of this uh, circuit, sit-outs. These are cool. These are a little bit more advanced for, for abs, for, for the core. For power, here's what you're going to do. Okay, here, your right leg, okay, is going to go through, touch to your left uh, hand. Okay? So right hand, left. Okay? Just like that. Be controlled. Okay? For a beginner, a little bit more advanced, when you get tired, you're going to transition into a plank from the elbows and or the hands. And you can always go from the knees. As always, guys, if you have questions, please let us know. Keep rocking it. Cool. Thanks for tuning in.